Welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be making the Sarah One Piece, which is not a new pattern, but it has been recently updated. And today I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of a modification with really long wraparound straps. For materials, you will need fabric, elastic, a seam ripper, a ruler, scissors or a rotary cutter, pins, a loop turner, and the pattern for the Sarah one piece. So for the first step, we're gonna cut two in each pattern piece. And I'm using this black and white floral fabric for the bottom. And I'm gonna be using a white fabric for the top as well as for the lining pieces. So again, you're just gonna cut two in each pattern piece of whatever color you choose. Then you're gonna cut your straps and this is where it gets modified and kind of interesting. So you're gonna cut your straps according to the measurements in the pattern for width, which off the top of my head, I believe it's three inches, but you're going to cut them to be extra long. So in this tutorial, I'm doing 60 inches long. So you're gonna cut two of these modified straps. Now that we have all of our pieces, we can begin sewing. So first you're gonna get the back piece and you're gonna match it with right sides together. You're gonna to sew along the leg holes as well as the top line. And at this same step, you're gonna attach elastic to those same places. Then you're gonna take your front bottom piece and you're gonna sew just the leg holes. This time you're gonna leave the top line untouched and that's because later on we're gonna put the bust pieces inside. So now you're gonna get your bust pieces, again match them with right sides together, and you're gonna sew along the inner bust as well as the shoulder. Again, we're leaving the bottom untouched as well as the side. And don't forget to attach elastic to these same areas. And then you're gonna sew your straps, and I'm not gonna use any elastic for the straps, but I am just gonna fold them with right sides together and sew that raw edge. Now that everything is sewn, we're gonna focus on our bust pieces and straps. So take your straps and your loop turner and turn the straps all the way to the right side. Once you've done this, you're gonna insert the straps inside of each of the bust pieces, line them up at the strap opening, and then sew them down to secure. Once this is done, you can take your bust pieces to the right side. Now we're gonna attach the bust pieces to the front bottom. With your front bottom piece still inside out, match your bust pieces inside with right sides together. Make sure that they're facing each other correctly and that right sides are together, and then pin across all four layers of fabric. We're gonna sew along this top line which will attach the bust pieces to the front bottom. So now the bust pieces are attached and you have one complete front piece with really long straps. Since these straps get in the way, you might wanna tie them in a knot. So now we're gonna take our back piece back into the picture and we're going to insert our front piece inside of the back piece and you're gonna align the gussets as well as both sides. Take your pins and pin across all four layers of fabric for the gusset and both sides, and then sew those areas. This will attach the front piece to the back piece. So now we need to take everything to the right side. And to do this, I'm gonna take my seam ripper and I'm gonna seam rip a one to two inch hole somewhere along an existing seam. I like to put it in the center back since this is usually where a tag goes. So through this hole, take everything back to the right side. As a final step, finish off the hole with a top stitch or an invisible stitch. And here is the final result. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see some more photos of the Sarah One Piece, 
both as it usually is made and as well as this modification, then please visit edgewateravenue.com or visit us on Instagram, which is at edgewaterave. On our website and on Instagram, we have customer photos as well as photos on the model of what all of these pieces look like. So thank you for coming by the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel today. I will see you in the next video.